the frequency of diabetes in uh, pediatric age is increasing. And, uh, mm, you know, it is not clear uh, why diabetes occurs. Of course, there is uh, an, un an immune-mediated susceptibility. The point, anyway, is that uh, uh, families of children with diabetes uh, have several concerns regarding vaccination. Their fear is that vaccine could uh, increase uh, uh, autoimmune-mediated disorders or also could, uh, in a certain way, create uh, acute problems uh, uh, in their children with diabetes. But uh, when we consider the advantages uh, that vaccines have, uh, especially for conditions that could be considered at risk, uh, at the end uh, we can understand why uh, vaccines are extremely important for children with diabetes. In addition, even uh, routine vaccination are extremely safe in this population. So I think that uh, we have to clarify uh, the first point. Vaccines are not dangerous for children with diabetes. Not dangerous means that uh, uh, at the end, uh, uh, we uh, can administer in a safe way these vaccines, uh, so the routine vaccines, uh, that means uh, both uh, live attenuated vaccines but also inactivated vaccine for sure uh, in these children. And at the same time, uh, the vaccines uh, do not cause diabetes. So there are several studies on this showing that there is no association uh, with the vaccination and the increased frequency of diabetes. The second point uh, is that uh, uh, children with diabetes uh, have some uh, risk factors during acute infections, especially, for example, uh, during influenza infection. Uh, so, uh, for all these children, influenza vaccination uh, is recommended every year, and it is extremely important uh, to follow this uh, recommendation. The other point is that uh, uh, even risks like, uh, for example, the risk of bacterial infection, even invasive bacterial infection, as a pneumococcal uh, uh, invasive bacterial disease, uh, could uh, uh, represent a problem. And uh, so, apart from uh, uh, the national plan that usually include uh, pneumococcal vaccine uh, at uh, uh, the age of uh, um, 3, 5, 11 months or with a different schedule in, uh, in some countries starting from the second month of, li of life, the point is that uh, uh, even uh, in older children, so in those uh, over 5 years, uh, it is uh, recommended uh, to administer a booster vaccine in order to guarantee uh, the coverage. So we can conclude that uh, vaccinations are extremely safe but at the same time extremely important for the health of children with diabetes and I really encourage of these children to receive their national vaccination schedule and in addition to receive every year influenza vaccination.